I use to make my oats. I have these oats. These are my favourite. They're carrot cake, whey protein, 60 grams of banana, flavour drops and chopped with cinnamon. So yeah, I'll show you how we make it. So 60 grams today and then I just boil the kettle and I just cover the oats in hot water and then just leave them for a little bit. I don't microwave my oats, um, I've done this for about a year now this way. I find that this is my the best way for me that I enjoy them. So yeah, leave them to soak a little bit. So I've mixed my whey protein with some water so it makes a paste and then we, oh I hate, do you know when you get like a horrible bit in the oats, yeah that needs more water, add a bit more water and then mix, I like mine this um, kind of consistency, then we add a tiny drop I hate it when I see people like absolutely smothering the food in um, syrups and flavor drops like oh god it's just so artificial do you know when you see someone with like a bowl of yogurt and then they put like half a bottle of like skinny food sauce on what makes us a bit gippy we add the banana I'm having 60 grams today and then the remaining Piglets! Ooh! Do you want some nani? Do you want some nani? Sit! Paw! Give me your paw! Paw! Come on! I got no hands free! You got no hands free, Mom! Are you camera shy? Why aren't you looking at me? Do you not like the camera? Do you not like it? Nani! Good girl. Oh, just make a mess of my floor, babe. It's all right. You missed a bit. Good girl. You good girl. Morning, everyone, and happy Easter. It is Sunday. It is Easter Sunday. Um, I've been to take the pig out for a walk. It is 25 past seven. Pig's been walked, currently drinking my coffee, and then we're gonna get ready to go to the gym for a leg day. Just thought I'd show you what um, eggs Neil has got for Easter. So we've got the fruit and nut, where the like egg is fruit and nut, and the 
raisin and biscuit Yorkie and a hot cross bun and raisin bar. Um, I don't like raisins in chocolate. Neil absolutely loves this kind of stuff so I thought well that's win-win. If it was like a mini egg or something I'd want them. Leg day today. This is currently what I am taking. So we have got creatine, that's just from my protein, um, glutamine, and the Anova Farm watermelon candy EAAs. This is really grown on me. When I first had it, I was I was a bit like, mm. Because everyone goes on like, oh, that's the best flavour. Oh, it's amazing. And when I first had it, I felt a bit underwhelmed. Uh, I do actually really like this now because I've been having it for quite a while. Above this is the um, the Candy Apple Rancher. I'll show you that one as well. I've got that one in the cupboard. Um, this one. This is my favourite. Candy Apple Rancher. I haven't got much of this one left, so I'm sort of rationing it a bit, but that's my favourite. And then other ones I've got, I've got, um, this is like a pump product. This is all right, but I much prefer the Alpha Lion. That's my favourite. So I've got this one. I take this on a rest day, mixed with my creatine and glutamine. Um, just some CNP EAAs big juicy melons mega pump this tastes like actual dirt out the ground i've only had it once because it made us really gag so yeah the vasky max this is another pump product unicorn piss um finally another eaa uh, this is the red con grunt this is really good i've not actually had this for a while neither and today's choice of pre-workout is this this is my favourite of it. I, I don't take um, stimulant based pre-workout just because I get migraines. Uh, yeah, this is the best flavour. Like cherry, this is so nice. It's like, it tastes like sweets. No double dips, like the K-Li. No people from Stokes don't call it K-Li. Um, they call it sherbet or something. Yeah, it tastes like that. Anyway, I call it K-Li really good gives you a good pump yeah so that's it i'm gonna mix these and then head off to the gym i don't know if i'm gonna film yet because to be fair i probably feel a bit embarrassed but we'll see see how i feel so i am back from the gym um i didn't film anything to be fair i didn't take my camera just because i didn't really wasn't really feeling it but yeah, it's now 5 to 11, um, did two hours, legs, and then um, had a sunbed. It's just took me fucking ages to get home. Do you know when there's like loads of traffic and then you get through it and there's like absolutely nothing? So yeah, now I'm gonna, oh, my face is so red. Ooh. Um, yeah, I'm gonna shower, cause I fucking stink. Um, and then I'm finally going to have meal one, which is, well, I'll show you. Um, but yeah, I'm fucking hungry. I always train fasted because that's what I do in the week. Um, because I'm at the gym at six o'clock, so I'm not going to be eating at like fucking five o'clock in the morning. Then being hungry. So I always um, eat my first meal at eight o'clock normally when I get to work. So yeah, that's fine. So I'm going to go in the shower and then have meal one. April I am off work this week the Sun is shining and yeah we've got a very busy day ahead today 
Um, so I am getting my hair cut off. Excuse the state of my hair. Um, I'll show you what I was, what I've been getting up to. Wow. I can't wait for the diet phase to kick in because this is not okay, hon. Yeah, let me just flip the screen around. So, I'm going away tomorrow for a few nights. So I thought I'd make a start on getting some of my food prepared. This is a lot of the dry stuff. Um, I've still got all my meats and things to cook, but I'm gonna do that later on. And do some more packing. So yeah, now I am going to enjoy my coffee, which I have here. And I'm gonna send my check-in to Erin. Um, if I can insert some photos, I'll do that here, but I'm not 100% sure I know how to do that, but we'll give it a go. See you in a bit. So I'm just gonna quickly run through the supplements that I take every day. I've just filled this up. Uh, so these are what I take. So I take three vitamin C a day. I take one vitamin D, two magnesium. Um, I've spoke about these on my Instagram before. Um, I suffer from migraines um, and I feel that these really, really help with managing my headaches, um, migraines and just general symptoms, to be honest with you. Um, that's vitamin D. Ashwagandha. Um, it's like a, I don't know, like a stress. Um, cortisol management. I get these from Home Bargains. I find that these are the cheapest place to get these from. Um, in here, evening primrose oil. That's more like women's health. And then we've got a... I can't say this word. There we go. Yeah, that. Um, I get these from eBay. They're from Mobo. Um... And they are good for, they are a good digestive enzyme. And um, finally, Omega-3. Um, these are the Perform ones. These are really good value for money. You get 200 for like £10, something like that. Um, so yeah, that's what I take in tablet form. Going to have them there. <laughs> The lighting on this camera is so good. I'm really impressed. Right, so it's time to get my hair cut. Just wanted to document the state that it is at the minute. My God. I'm gonna try to do one of them. Um, you know them things where they're like, and my hair is cut. We'll see how it goes. So about to get my hair cut. Just so you can see how long it is. And I'm standing up. Yeah, next time you see me, my hair will be. I'm probably gonna get maybe that off. <laughs> to be fair, it grows back so fast, so I'm not even bothered. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Um, yeah, ready to get my hair cut. I'm very happy with my hair. So now that I actually look a bit more presentable, AKA I actually got my hair done. I've got some makeup on, which I never wear. Um, I thought I would sit down and sort of do a bit of an introduction to the video. I did film one before, but I wasn't overly happy with it. So I thought I would introduce myself. Um, for those of you that don't know me, um, my name's Carly. I am 31. 
um, and I currently live in County Durham in the northeast. Um, I've lived in the northeast for about 10 years now. Um, I'm from Stoke on Trent originally. As you can probably tell by my accent, it's a bit all over the place. Um, and I have lived in Newcastle as well previously. So I have a little bit of a mixed accent. Some words are all over. Um, I work full time for the NHS. I'm an occupational therapist and I work on a elderly rehab ward. Um, yeah, that's pretty much a little summary. If you follow me, you know where I pig. I've been training for around five years now, um, but I've only been bodybuilding. Um, since June last year where we pushed food up and trained like a bodybuilder basically. Before then it was just more for fat loss and um, just messing around and I didn't really know what I was doing nutrition wise. So yeah I'm a bit more clued up now. Um, I do wish I'd started sooner but on the other hand, I think when um, you are entering into bodybuilding and thinking about doing a prep, you need to make sure that your life um, is in an optimal position before you start thinking about doing a prep and bodybuilding. So for me, in the past, um, previous situations and circumstances that I have been in, they wouldn't have been um, optimal. Of the door, um, the door went and the pig went crazy. So I'm very settled with where I'm living, the house. Yes, it still needs a lot of work doing, but we can work around that. Um, I'm very happy in the job that I'm in, um, the position that I'm in. Um, I got a promotion last year, so I'm quite happy with um, where I'm sitting at the moment before I make that step and progress to the next level. I'm happy with my job, um, the location of my job, like how far, how like my time management. Um, so at my job's like 20 minutes away from where I live. Um, and I, the hours that I work, I work eight till four. So that suits me, I've got plenty of time. Um, I train before I go to work. Um, just because I prefer it, to be honest. Um, the gym that I train at, I train um, in the morning before work because that's the most optimal time for me. Um, and the relationship that I'm in as well. Um, so me and Neil have been together for, well, it'll be four years at the end of this year. Um, and I can honestly say, like, it's the happiest I've ever felt. Um, I don't normally say things like that because I think, mm, cringe. But um, yeah, I think that helps. You need someone in your life that pushes you um, to get to your goals and, and he does exactly that. Anything that I want to do, like he supports me in that, whether it be uh, my career goals, um, my bodybuilding goals. At first he was a bit like, oh, what are you doing that for? But now he just gets it, like he weighs out my food for me. He, he just he just gets it and he just understands how important it is to me. But yeah, um, very happy with where I am. I think you have to have the basics in place before you decide you're going to prep. Because if your life is chaotic and there's this going on and that going on and that's stressing you out, then your prep won't be a priority. You need to make yourself a priority. As selfish as that is, you need to think about yourself um, and how everything else will, everything else needs to be um, structurally sound in your life before you, um, start to think about competing um i think money wise is another thing i know a lot of people don't like really talk about it but it's fucking expensive um and if you don't have um the means to support yourself and pay for these things then like yeah you can do things on a budget cut corners and this that and the other but i think if you're gonna pay for a coach um 
posing coaches are fucking expensive and if you're anything like me and you're shit and you need a lot of input you need to think about that as well um food yeah it's just it's just expensive bikini tan i just paid 70 quid for my tan the other day and i was like people are like oh do it yourself no hun no hun okay if you want to see me looking streaky as fuck and like patchy all hour then yeah pay for your time so to sum up if you're thinking about competing make sure you're in an optimal position to do so i.e no external factors going on that are going to impact you um i mean things happen don't get us wrong shit happens it's life but if you don't have all the basics in place before you start to prep then things will likely go wrong you need to make sure you're in a good position is what i'm trying to say in a really long-winded way so yeah also um i've just had my check-in response back from erin um nothing is changing um today as far as i'm aware um so i check in twice a week tuesday is normally just a quick check-in just to say how things are send my measurements send my pictures etc and then friday is like a full detailed um check-in of how the week's gone um and i have like a daily thing which i fill out every day really so no adjustments as far as i'm aware probably maybe have some adjustments on friday I'm really hoping my cardio doesn't go up just yet because I don't like it. Good morning guys. It is 5.42 and I am just heading to the gym now to train back. Um, I might film some of it, I don't know. Um, it is Wednesday the 20th of April and today we are going to Glasgow so I need to go train get my 40 minutes cardio done and then yeah we can get going catch you in a bit So I'm just getting ready now um, to go to Glasgow. So I'm just gonna wrap this video up here. Um, sorry if it was a bit all over the place. Um, obviously I'm new to this. Um, talking to the camera doesn't come naturally to me. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, and the next time you see me will be the vlog in Glasgow. Bye.